fantastic, but he's been making a lot of those plays all camp. So it's uh, that was a little extra special, but he's been showing us that all camp. So it was pretty exciting. Five ways to get him involved. How rare is that for a rookie to kind of establish himself? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, from, from where he was drafted. It's uh, it's been a good. He's, he's had really good performance for that. Um, smart. He's obviously an older player for a rookie. So, um, you know, you, you hope with that age comes uh, some of that maturity that we're seeing from him. And uh, yeah, he's been everything we've hoped for. Joe, sure, Sean said, Coach, we're going to talk last night about how you're split up starter snaps, you know, I guess, across the board. Yeah. No. Nope. We haven't. We didn't talk last night. I think we're going to talk this afternoon and, and solidify that. Yeah, I think so. He's been, uh, you know, he's he's got all the traits that you want from a tackle. Um, you know, he's been going through a transition with with some of the new coaching techniques that he's getting, and he's been listening and responding to all that. So just seeing him on the upswing, and uh, you know, you just feel his size, his length on the edge there, and. Uh, been real pleased with his progress. In what specific areas has Bonick shown the most progress from starting Yeah, I think it's just um, you know comfort level with uh, just the operation. You know, he's really instinctive, and so just playing football has been good from jump. So it's just uh, you know getting the huddle calls, some of the checks at the line of scrimmage. Just the more you see that, the better you get, and he's just getting more comfortable. You know, we had a pretty good install the last three days, and so. You know, he's had to restart some of that, but, um, you know, he's he's everything that, that that you hope for just with his intelligence and the way he studies and prepares. And, um, it's really just, uh, you know, the comfort level. When you give him a play and it's new and the defense has a new install, there's a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, not as, not as much confidence when he gets it and you look in his eyes. And then after a couple of days when you're running the same plays, you just feel like he's a veteran, so just comfort level. What have you seen from him? Who's that? Greg Dolson. What have you seen from him? Just oh, yeah, yeah. Being healthy, being in the room, to now Yeah, what have you seen? it's been fantastic. You know, you just feel his speed out there. Um, you know, when he's on the move, it's hard for people to cover him. And, uh, you know, just a number of plays where he's just running away from defenders and giving the quarterback a throw and... And then once he catches it, if he's got some space, you know, you can just feel him eating up yardage as he turns and runs with the ball. So just a very uh, explosive player that, uh, you know, we're excited about his health, and, and hopefully that just continues. Time for two more. What, what are some uh, factors about uh, that make Lou Ianni uh, unique? Lou? Lou? Uh, yeah, um, he's got a good demeanor about him, you know, the way that he interacts with his players. Um, you know, he's a good coach. His guys are always at practice prepared. Um, so just, uh, you know, he's been, he's got a history with uh, Zach Streif and Austin King. You know, they, they got a little Northwestern posse. So he fits in, you know, well with the staff and, uh, you know, coaches his guys up real well. And he's got a lot of coaching experience. So he's a, you know, real asset to us. You mentioned, you mentioned that early, early on when that install first comes, there's, there's a little bit of a wide eye. Uh, is that typical of just that release? Oh, for sure. Yeah, I think it's, you know, even if you're a 12 year vet, when you're getting new language, um, new protections, uh, and then you add in, you know, a unique defense that that maybe, you know, you don't have a ton of experience with. So even, even a veteran in his first year, you're going to feel some of that. So I don't think it's unique to. Uh, Bo or a rookie. You know, that being said, for a rookie, Bo has been outstanding with that. Um, but, uh, you know, Jared just mentioned today just how much easier it is for him his second year. And, you know, when you break meetings at night, just how much more comfortable he is. Just like, man, I got all this already. And, uh, you know, when it's brand new to you, it's like, man, you break meetings, you got a lot of review to do. And so it's just, it's just a, a volume issue with new information that, you know, your second time through, it's always going to be easier, whether you've been playing for 12 years or you're working. Last question, Zach. Coach, what are you looking to see from both Zach and Jared in, a, in their first preseason game? Um, yeah, just a, a clean operation and um, you know, just playing good football with, with the situation that's presented to them. Um, you know, there's not a, a ton of game planning that goes into these games, and so you're running. You know, you, you take a peek at the team you're about to play, and you really are picking – 
your install plays that fit that team versus like, hey, we see this look, we're going to change this formation or we're going to add this route that we have in practice. So, um, you know, and, and you're in there with, with a lot of different guys. That, and so the, the uh, you know, the way the guys work together, it's a little bit different than maybe, you know, during the season where you're practicing with the same guys and you're, you know who you're throwing the routes to. Um, and so it can be a little bit more uh, – a little more uncertainty maybe than a regular season game. And so just handle all that and make good decisions and um, you know take the plays that are there. And if we call a bad play, make sure nothing bad happens. So just operate well with the conditions that are given you. Thank you, Coach. Sure, thank you. Thank you.